show you a uh, braid that you can do. It's a double French braid. It comes right on the sides and then it joins together to come down the back. I'm going to do just the regular French braid. You can do it a Dutch French braid also. Um, that's the inside out kind. This braid is kind of a natural looking braid. It's kind of a little more loose, so you don't need to worry about squirting their hair down. Now I'm going to start this braid behind the ear. Um, so there's just kind of a little bit that goes into it. And again, when you French braid, before you bring this piece over, you grab hair and take it with. And same on each side, before you bring that hair over, you grab some and take it with. Just kind of smooth it out as you go with your fingers. You can use a comb if you want either way. Okay, now I didn't put a part down the middle because I want it to be kind of natural there where it joins. Now I'm going to just braid this down a little bit and have her hold it. Just come behind the ears and smooth it out a little bit. Okay. I'm going to break this down. I'm taking fairly big sections so that it kind of has that loose, natural look. last piece right here. Now, this is where it fits kind of fun because you get to join all these strands together. And there's really no rhyme or reason. You, you just kind of merge them in and, and I try to combine two strands from each braid together however it works the best. Um, so I'm going to put that one, put that piece, put these right there. And it kind of just comes together, it makes a mess actually at first. And you're just going to want to just work with it. You may have to do it a couple times figure out a way that works. It, I don't think it ever turns out the same twice and, and you're just going to want to kind of play with those a little bit and see if you can get them in where you like them. Um, but the nice thing is it's kind of a messy braid so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit lumpy and loose coming into that. So there is a double French braid coming down into one down the back. Okay, we have here the double French braid down into one and we did a video on this just a few minutes ago and decided afterwards that it would be kind of fun to play with it and put it in a little bun. So I'm going to take this and wrap it up and around, kind of like that. Then I'm going to take a big elastic to secure that in. These little guys to stay up here so they kind of poke out at the top. Okay, and then I'm just going to take some bobby pins and pin it around inside. This is, we haven't worn this yet, so I would recommend putting a lot of bobby pins in it first. Um, it's a little bit, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the hair that Katniss wore when she was getting ready to go to the briefing. She had kind of a fun bun thing going. So just kind of pin it around. Use your judgment, stick them wherever you think they need to go. This is 
kind of, it's messy, but it's just kind of thin. Let me pin that lump down though. So there's just kind of a fun way to wrap that up into a, kind of a messy braided bun. Good luck with that one.